Hello oh, people, I am Mr. Neil, you can call me on page, and before I do what the title of the video said I was going to do, I might as well tell you all how I got to this point. Recently I uploaded a video where I tried Crystal Pepsi for the first time. I bought it at my local gas station and Chris was in the truck driving me around. I did the video and I saw the comments after I posted it. One guy told me that Crystal Pepsi is just Pepsi without the food coloring. That's actually pretty cool then. I guess it can be considered healthy. As, I mean a healthy alternative, not a healthy soda because there's no such thing as a healthy soda. However, Andrew Shorehart, or as he refers to be called ACT8113, requested I try 1893, another Pepsi product. I told him I will consider doing that as soon as I can find a store that stocks it. And literally one day after the video went up, my dad, who has no idea of this channel or what's on it, actually went out to a gas station or party store somewhere, I don't know where, and actually bought me a can of 1893. It's like my dad's psychic or something, but whatever. I'm going to try it for the first time, as the video stated. Here is to you, Mr. Andrew, or whatever the hell you want me to call you. I don't care. Anyway. From one reactor to another, and to all you guys watching, cheers. Okay, my first thoughts are it tastes like a regular Pepsi, but it tastes like different. <clears throat> Reminds me of them throwback Pepsis, the ones that use the real sugar instead of the high fructose corn syrup. Let's look at how the can looks. I can't do up close shots with the camera without screwing with the mic, so you have to take my word for what I'm reading. Boldly blended cola made with cola nut extract, dark brown malt flavor, a touch of aromatic bitter, sparkling water, and real sugar. So, this is a real throwback soda, and you can't exactly fault it for that. It's actually a good thing. I kind of like the old types. I might like to try Mountain Dew Throwback one more time though because the current Mountain Dews are starting to go through that phase where I drink it and it tastes like shit even though I enjoyed it before. Uh, uh, so this is refreshing to me. It's like once again the ingredient at the top of the list is carbonated water. Let's see, sugar, caramel color, phosphoric acid, sodium, blah, 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 all the usual crap. Uh, 150 calories, though, so I, I guess it's my healthy replacement for Mountain Dew. Not sure if I'd pick it over Dr. Pepper, but this comes a close second. One thing that threw me off was the name 1893. My parents explained that it was like... The original cola from 1893, I'm like, I'm thinking to myself, wow, did they actually keep a cola in a time capsule cryogenic freezer and store it for a couple hundred years? What's the expiry date on this? Uh, that's what the world needs to know. May 29th. How can a soda made in 1893 expire in 2017? Maybe that's the test of time for Pepsi Cola or whatever. Sorry, I ain't got much of an ending for this video, but dinner is ready and I do not want it to get cold. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye! Ding ding dong, it's a Pepsi song. End screen song, sing it all day long. Ring ding 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 dong, we sing it at the end screen. Ding ding ding, and drink Pepsi. Ding ding dong, not sponsored or endorsed, whatever.